Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable admin shares of your local hard disk on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off on the start button one time. Type in run. Best match should come back a run here. Left click on that. And now into the run field, you want to go type in L usrmgr dot msc again lusrmgr dot msc and then just left click on OK now you want to left click on the users folder on the left side now in the middle panel here you want to right click on where it says administrator and left click on properties you want to uncheck the box where it says account is disabled and then left click on apply and OK. And now you want to right click on the administrator folder again and then left click on properties. Right click on the folder and then left click on set password. You will have to set a password for the administrator account here. So just make sure you type a password you're not going to lose. It's very important. And then left click on OK. So it should say the password has been set. You close out of here. Head over to the start menu. Type in control panel. Best match should say control panel. Left click on that one time. Say your view by up here to category view. So click inside the drop down, select category. And then left click on system and security. Where it says allow an app through Windows Firewall, you want to select that. And left click on where it says change settings. You want to uncheck where it says file and printer sharing, so scroll down here. left click on OK. So you want to make sure it's selected. If it was already selected, just uncheck it and then check it back again. So just want to do a full circle there. So make sure it's set to file and printer sharing. There's a check mark next to it when you're done. Left click on OK. Close out of here. Now you want to open up the start menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you make modifications to the registry editor, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of the registry. So if you ever had to go back to a previous state, you can. So in order to do that, just left click on the file tab, left click on export. So save it in a convenient spot. You want to make sure export range is set to all and the file name is something that's easily identifiable. So preferably probably like the date in which you're making the backup. And then left click on save. And then if you ever needed to go back to a previous version of the registry, you just would do file and then import it back in. So pretty straightforward. So once you made your backup, you want to go ahead and expand the H key local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand it. And then you want to do the same thing for software, Microsoft. And then you want to scroll down to Windows, expand that one as well. And then now you want to expand current version. Scroll down to policies, expand that one. And then you want to go left click on the system. Now once you have selected system, now on the right side you want to go click in a blank area, right click, left click on new, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. This is very important here, you want to type in local, account, token, filter, policy, exactly it appears on my screen, so local, account, token, filter, policy and you want to hit enter. And you can also pause the video, you're more than welcome to. And you can also see the path that we are doing on the top of the screen here, so you should be able to easily follow along, rewatch part of the video if you want, but you can see where we're at right here. 
So now that we've created this value, you want to double click on it. And instead of zero, you want to delete the zero. Type the number one. So don't spell out one, just type the number one. And then left click on OK. Once you've done that, you should be able to click out of here, restart your computer. So that should be about it, guys. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.